Yo, what is up guys? In this video, I'll be showing you how you can make that insane build up that you guys just saw in the preview. So uh, I'll be going over the skin glow, uh, how it gets dark, the duo tone, just everything cool like that. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get straight into it. So what you're going to want to do for the velocity, uh, just try to keep up with mine. Uh, I will go pretty fast for the velocity because you guys should already have that sorted out. So I'm going to go where the, like, the frame where the character's gun is pulled out. And uh, after we uh, make sure that it's on that exact frame, uh, I'm going to go to retime controls and uh, add a speed point and then I'm going to go to where the siphon starts, I'm at another speed point and then I'm going to go to the middle between the two and at another speed point I'm going to change the first speed to 25, second speed to 400. And uh, something important, you guys will want to make uh, your retime process optical flow, just makes everything smoother. And uh, I'm just going to delete the audio since it's not really important. And uh, I think I'll make this 25. And uh, just want to make sure it overlaps a bit. Actually, I'm add a marker there. And you make sure sometimes to have better velocity that actually overlaps a bit. So this should look good. Yeah, it looks nice. Um, I'm gonna go just like 60 frames in front, cut it, and that's it. All right, so now that we have finished with our velocity, I am gonna go into my file explorer and find my uh, sound effect. So it should be in here. Let's uh, seven. Go to SFX and then. I will have this in the description if you guys are wondering for it. Literally everyone wants the sound effect, so it's kind of like if I get it, hopefully I get a lot of subs. So uh, once you guys do have it, I'm just going to trim it a bit and fade it in. Alright, that looks nice. And I haven't even put in my song yet, which is a mistake. Uh, I'm going to just do... Fantasize... Uh, I do have it. Actually, yeah, this should be good. All right, so there's the beat drop. I'm add a marker on that and make sure it lines up with the kill. Uh, and just do that and just drag this back so it lines up and then trim this down and just put it back. So it should look like this. Actually, I'm gonna trim it down a bit more. And uh, it looks really smooth in my opinion. And uh, now we're actually going to start on the skin glow. Alright, so something I will tell you for this tutorial is that you won't need to mask uh, like your character or anything. So uh, yeah, I know a lot of you guys are pretty happy right now because masking is a pain in the ass on Adventure Resolve. So uh, now what you're going to want to do is trim the clip with Control B on your keyboard on the first speed point and then trim it again on the marker. So basically you have this little section right here of star mode. And uh, now go into the color tab, which is not something I normally do <laughs> and normally say. And what you're gonna wanna do now is click this circle right here. So make sure you are on this tab right here of the circle and then click the circle in that circle tab. It sounds kinda confusing, but just go with it. And uh, just make sure with this circle that it's basically you can adjust it how you want you know you can make it fat you can make it thin uh just make sure it basically surrounds the skin like to the best of your ability just try and make sure that uh this like the character is getting outlined uh if you want i guess you could mask but like this is just way easier and it still looks like a, just just as nice and uh i'm just gonna drag this back a bit and uh, now uh, I'm done. And by the way, these like red dots right here is for making it like the softness putting it up. So basically it just extends more a bit and it's kind of like a fade. And uh, now that I'm done basically just outlining kind of my character, I'm gonna go back to the edit tab and the same portion that uh, you guys have cut and that you edited it, uh, click Alt on your keyboard and then just drag this section up one layer. So, uh, yeah, it should look like that. And now, go back into the color tab. Uh, make sure that you do have the second layer clip, so like the number two. And uh, on this, like where my mouse is right now, on like this grid, 
uh, right click and click add alpha output and then just uh, connect this blue with the other blue so uh, now you guys won't see it yet but uh, if you guys do want to see how it looks like I'm just gonna disable this as you can see the skin is uh, kind of masked it's not only really masked it's just kind of traced I guess and uh, I do see that like the like it, there's like a lot of space up here so I'm just gonna go and correct that uh, uh, like right here and uh, that should look good yeah it looks fine so uh, now what you're gonna want to do is go into the fusion tab and uh, what you're gonna want to do now is uh, go to where I dropped my preset uh, it's here and uh, what I'm gonna do now is uh, drag in the skin edge uh, detect and this comes with edge rays, edge detect, and edge underscore hue sap bright. Uh, you will need the sapphire plugins for this. Uh, you c sadly you cannot do this with uh, without plugins. I mean, it, it could be like a variant to this, but it won't be as good. And uh, for edge detect, all right. So sometimes there's a setting on the edge detect that you guys may not like, and it's edge smooth. And uh, what I usually like to do here is just it, it says point zero zero one. Just put it to point zero zero twenty eight. That looks way better, and uh, and you might want to make this a bit uh, darker. So I usually recommend like 4.2 on raised brightness. And with hue sap bright, uh, the reason I added this was so you can adjust the color to what you want. Uh, as you can see, I can literally do any color in like in the world, and uh, I'm just gonna choose red for this tutorial. As you can see, it makes this really cool skin uh, effect. And what you're going to want to do now is go back obviously into the edit tab and just fade this clip in like this with like the uh, white rectangle and just like uh, fade it in like that. So you can see it will do a slow fade in, but uh, it should look good. And now that you guys have done that, uh, go into the cut section of the original clip right here so basically just move this out and uh, just go in the cut section and go back into the fusion tab and what you're going to do here is add uh, s underscore halftone this will do just add a cool dots effect and uh, put the dots frequency to 400 uh, it kind of looks like a comic book and uh, what you're going to do now is go into settings right here and put the blend to zero, keyframe it, and then go, I'd say, to like two thirds of the way through like the cut and put it to like uh, 1.0. So it should look nice. And uh, I'm actually gonna put quarter resolution because it'll make things less laggy. So you can see, very nice. And then if I add the skin glow over top, this is how it should look like. And uh, what you're gonna wanna do now, I'm just gonna adjust this a bit more because uh, I feel like this is just in the way a bit. Uh, yeah, that looks good. So sometimes like your kind of masking won't be perfect. So every now and then you have to just go and adjust it a bit. And uh, now that it looks perfect, uh, I'm going to add my pre-shake. So I'm going to go get an adjustment clip and drag it basically over top of the second layer of effects. And uh, just... Uh, drag it on to where the cut section starts and then just trim it so it basically lines up with uh, the cut sections and uh, now you're going to want to do is uh, go into the fusion tab and search for s underscore uh, blur mo curves and uh, what you want to do now is uh, keyframe the z distance z dist and uh, go so again like I'd say two thirds of the way through so uh I'd say maybe like around right here and uh, put the Z distance to like 0.72 I'd say that might be good and then go to the end and put it to 0.9 again and uh, it should look good and it will lag but that's how it should look like so it doesn't lag too much actually and uh, now uh, this part is optional uh, you might want to add magic bullet looks onto this, so just an open effects tab, type in looks, and uh, just drag it on the adjustment clip. Make sure it is on the adjustment clip or else this won't work. 
And uh, for edit look, you just might want to add like a, a vignette. So go into lens and add a vignette and it's just going to be not too much. And uh, make sure that if you add the looks, you put uh, uh, wait, no, just keep it there. Never mind. And uh, yeah, it should look good. And uh, now what you're gonna want to do is uh, fade in the adjustment clip just like you faded in uh, the bottom layer of like this clip right here. And uh, yeah. Uh, so one thing I forgot to mention was if you want to make the zoom in uh, more smooth, what you're going to want to do is uh, go into blur mode curves and go into spline and uh, check uh, S underscore blur mode curves. Just click on the empty box and then click this up here, like zoom to fit. And you will see something that looks like this, it's kind of like a triangle. And just make sure to select it all like that. And uh, once you have like green on your screen, click S to just make it more smooth. And uh, it should look like that. And uh, I'm actually gonna remove the magic bullet looks. So I feel like it might not be that necessary. And uh, now for the impact, again, this is completely optional. You guys can use your own impact. I'm just gonna show you how to make this impact. Uh, I'm just gonna add an adjustment clip over top. It should look like that. And uh, I'm going to Fusion tab, and uh, what I'm going to want to do now is go into my impacts, and I'm going to find the God Flicker impact. This is a nice flicker impact I'll have in the description, just like every other preset that I used in this video. And uh, for some reason, this S underscore shake right here, the first one, is, uh, is not keyframed well, it's at zero. Uh, make sure to put it to 0.6. And uh, it should be it for the tutorial, I would say that. And uh, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a sub, uh, let, hit the like button, and share this with your friends. And uh, that's all. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.